Good evening, everybody. This is Paul, and I'm Reform Nerd, and welcome back to Universe Sim. I know I wasn't really planning on streaming today, and I don't think I gave anyone any warning, so we'll see who actually shows up. But I couldn't sleep, so I figured, hey, you know what? Let's go see how my nuggets are doing. <laughs> so I actually feel pretty happy. Uh, beyond a little bit of a fire issue late in the stream yesterday, um, I feel like my civilization is doing semi-decently. Uh, I haven't really had too many mass death issues yet. Um, however, I do have a bit of a problem with um, getting enough water and uh, enough um, food going on for my people, which, is, oddly enough, seems to be kind of important. Um, my people really do seem to appreciate the the finer things in life and uh, food and water definitely seem to be part of the mix <laughs> but when looking around here you know i've got a decent society i'm hitting around 80 adults with about five children um i'm definitely having a hard time getting enough of the manufactured goods though um the upgraded wood and the upgraded um stone it's been coming in but coming in a little bit on the slow side the, the huts are definitely a rockin though and we are working on botany at the moment fantastic uh what does this banner mean here uh i guess that's probably just the what the graveyards are labeled as fair enough What's this random pot? Why is there a boiling pot at the cemetery? Oh, I think this is Big Red's doing. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's not a pot. It looks like a fire. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought that was boiling water, not necessarily fire. Okay, we got some botany going on. Very good. Uh, I definitely think I should invest a little bit more. I mean... Let's see. I mean, capacity doesn't sound like a big issue, because I, I don't really have much of a capacity problem. Additional worker slot, that could probably be useful, because uh, I have seen a few people complain about being hungry as of late, and they shouldn't really be. I, I've got two different eateries hanging around here. Um, so botany, what did that unlock? Because I set that up last stream because I didn't want to forget about it and then I forgot what it did. Oh, farm upgrade. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. I probably should have been able to guess that one. But yes, going ahead. Let's go ahead and expand that farm. And what are the people working on at the moment? Uh, okay, good. Getting some more water pumps. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Because at the moment, my reservoirs don't seem all that full. And I don't know what season it is, but um, one thing is sure, in both Game of Thrones and Universe Sim, winter is coming. I'm looking around, I don't see any other... Yeah, evaporating. I don't think there's any real way to stop evaporation. Because uh, when I built this, this was kind of in the forest, and that helped a little bit. What about that reservoir I'm building up here? Oh, it's not even done yet. Okay, fantastic. But once that is done, we'll take a look at that. Let's see if the, the shade from the mountain is enough to actually keep it in line. Oh, and I never authorized the hospital upgrade. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see if we can get that started. And that seems to be all of the banners I see at the moment. Deadly Seed. Well, I'm glad you're out here harvesting the Deadly Seed. I don't foresee any problem. 
with that. And finally, the iron mine is built. About damn time. That thing took forever. Alright, let's go ahead and get a couple of uh, nuggets assigned to this. And we'll start mining out some iron. Very good, very good. 14.7 and going down. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm I'm already up to 86. That iron mine need, must need a lot of water. Well, come on. Uh, I, I've authorized you to construct a few different water pumps around here. It would be lovely if you could go on ahead and do that. In fact, where is... Oh, I probably could put down a hunter's trap as well. I haven't had much luck with these. But frankly, it seems like it's worth continuing to try. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one a little further out from my civilization. And new family's been formed. Very good. And come on, let's go ahead and get those water pumps down before we start... Uh, running out of stuff here and where is my lumber yard because I have a feeling that maybe my lumber yard is no longer close to trees why is everyone sad water everywhere and nothing to drink yeah and it's still going down as we speak as in fact Got the temple. We well, got six water in that well. That's actually pretty good compared to what we were looking at previously. So, is there a lumber yard? I mean, I know we have the wood refinery, bunker, farm, fishing pier, hunter's hut, local business. Uh, I, I don't have local business unlocked yet, but that's fine. Okay, reservoirs, yes. Iron mine, yes, I got that built, yes. Watchtower, forecast tower, school. Did I ever build a school? I don't remember if I actually built the school. Hmm. You know, I don't actually see a school around here anywhere. But yeah, I suppose we should go on ahead and get these eateries upgraded. Stone hut, cemetery. The school would have been a larger building. Okay, bunker, sure. How much is, can fit in a bunker? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18... 20 in a bunker so I need like four more freaking bunkers if I want to actually be able to protect my entire civilization archive hunter's hut yeah no school well, okay fine enough I can always go ahead and put down a school that's fine no harm in that And we'll go ahead and get that eatery upgraded as well. And yes, let's go ahead and look at might, smooth speed. Fish gutting time reduced by 14%, so it's a improved hunter. Additional slot for a graveyard, which frankly I don't really feel like it's worth having. Eatery food capacity up 5%. Mm. Culture. Last names. Nugget water needs reduced by 7%. Oh, okay, yeah. Culture would be worth it just to unlock the, the water as far as I'm concerned. 
And that unlocks local business, okay. And gas mine. Gas mine seems a little early in the technological structure of things here. And more lifespan. Which is fine, because I really don't think there's a lot of people who are dying here from uh, old age. So, I'm probably going to do that eventually, but um, don't think I need that as a top priority. <laughs> No, Iron Mine seems to be running okay. Kind of slow. But fortunately, it doesn't look like I have a lot of need. Oh, that's not even iron. That's refined stone. So where does it show me iron I have? Or does it not show me iron? Ah, here we go. So iron, yeah, I'm sitting at one. Fair enough. Um, we'll see if that continues to go up, because maybe I don't need it yet, but stockpiling it now would be valuable for kind of a long-term thing. And this reservoir is not done either. Yeah, just that refined wood is really damn slow. And everyone's a little dehydrated because no one's getting around to building these damn water wheels. Come on, prioritize the pumps here. Come on. Refined wood, refined wood. Everyone's just waiting for some freaking refined wood. And refined stone as well is also being a waste. Okay, Hunter's Hut not available for upgrades or anything of that sort. Fair enough. And yeah, these things are waiting for upgrades as well, but uh, I'm just not getting out enough supplies fast enough. I think I'm really going to need to go ahead and invest in another wood refinery. Because everything seems to be just waiting on some refined wood at this point. And that just, frankly, doesn't make sense for me not to increase capacity. So go ahead and just put one right over here. <sighs> Water status... Going down by six. Yeah. Well, as soon as I can get some freaking refined wood out here, we can actually get that fixed. Ninety nine point two percent of water in this lake is remaining, so that's good. We're not emptying it too quickly, it seems. Got another stone hut being created, very nice. It's good to see my people taking care of themselves with those. And yes, the school, that's the one I just put down, right? I don't have another school under construction by accident, I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks like that's not the case. Perfect. A sense of community through quantum mechanics. That's interesting, which should prove useful. Indeed, it should. Quantum mechanics, and we don't even have a school. How about that? Yes, I know everyone's upset about not having water. I'm as thin as a stick. Oh, so food seems to be an issue, too. But, I mean, I got 96 raw food. I just need the eateries to be able to turn that around for me here. 
And they're still waiting to be upgraded because I don't have enough freaking raw stone or uh, uh, refined wood. So I definitely need to kind of make this a priority here because everything's waiting for more refined wood. And it looks like there's nothing I can do to kind of speed that up for the time being because everything that's being produced is going out instantly. And um, yeah, all my people are kind of starving and dying of thirst at the moment. So that's that's not good. Uh, do we still have room in the graveyard? Let's just make sure we still have room in the graveyard. I have a feeling we're going to need that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we still have plenty of room in the graveyard, which is fantastic. Uh, that way, I, you know, I'm not going to be running out of capacity here in a few minutes when everyone starts dying on me. But go ahead and go for boiled water. That should, if they need less water, they're going to be less angry at me when they realize that I don't have any water to offer them. <laughs> Time to put your summer... Oh, crap. Autumn is here. And I'm literally sitting on 2,000 water in the reservoirs, and I'm still using six more than I'm producing. Okay, yep, yeah, this is bad. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be working out too well. But, yeah, five more wood, and we can go ahead and get this going. Um, yeah, I've got two wood. So, yeah, it's not a wood problem. The wood is making it too... The refiners it's just taking too long to actually get through the refining process so let's go ahead and see what happens i'm going to get this game speed up here a little bit because even at max speed it's only 1.5 speed so you know <laughs> a new neighbor oh we got a new neighbor you know what that means Time to say hello! Oh, you just decided to set up here right in the um, middle of the coal district. There you go! Welcome to the neighborhood! <laughs> So I wonder if they start out with just two inhabitants as well, and if I kill one, they can't reproduce, and then, you know. So they're neutral. I wonder if that must be difficult. We sat around doing nothing. Wood refinery has been completed. Fantastic. Buildings have no water. Okay, yes, I'm well aware buildings have no water. So, do they have another nugget around here helping build this? Yes. Aggressive. I wonder if they were aggressive before I murdered his wife. I'm not so sure about that. So, are they complaining because winter is here and things are freezing? No, no, I'm actually should still be producing water. Fantastic. All right, well, let's go ahead and assign people to the new wood refinery, even though I don't think it's going to be able to work without actually having any water, um, which is unfortunate because I'm going to need that production to be able to unlock more water mills so that I can actually get the, yeah, four out of 15. Damn. And yeah, everything's freezing over on me. This is going to be a long winter. Okay, something's happening. Well, at least they don't need as many... as much water now. I, I finished the research of that thing. So, are people running into the bunker now? Is, is that how it works, or do I have to, like... Because, yeah, they were blowing the warning siren. But what were they blowing the siren for? Is it a tornado? Because it sounds kind of windy. Uh, I don't know what the emergency is. Well, cemetery is starting to fill up a little bit. That's 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 not surprising. No one is in the bunker though. So what was the emergency? Why was I hearing the 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 siren? Uh, winter has begun. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, so winter is firmly here. And I've got literally... D village demands resources. 24 stone, not necessarily refined. 3 wood, 7 food. I mean, I've got enough that we would be able to afford that, but what's the... What's the point, though? They're leaning towards declining. So if I try to influence them to like it and do it, like... What does having friends actually mean in this game? I, I'm not even entirely sure about that. Uh, how, how optimistic. Some nuggets formed a new family. I guess they actually think they're going to be alive long enough to enjoy the company of another. Look, I got a lot of points... What if I... Sixty points to change the season. Let's go ahead and change that to spring. And what if I just go on ahead and have a... Oh! Well, it was actually raining normally. Alright, so yeah, we're going ahead and bless them with some rain. Hopefully that will get my water up. And get those water wheels turning so that we can actually get a little bit... I'm only producing 60 now? Okay, okay. It was just waiting for the last one to come online. So I'm still using 92. I really need to get them to get this done. Any of the water pumps. I don't care which one. But we did get that last refinery going so we need four refined wood because i can't afford to keep it raining forever here uh yeah everyone's just waiting for some freaking refined wood and i'm not producing anywhere near enough water to get that done so the, let's see where i have two different wood refineries running here okay you're sitting on one but you have storage and you're seeing on 18 local wood storage okay well no problem for you let's go ahead and get that done just keep getting that wood converted over because without it i won't be able to finish those damn water mills and without water mills everyone is gonna die so you're see still sitting at four all right come on let's see how long it's gonna take us to actually get that done um because people have not had water for kind of a long time. And um, last I checked, water is kind of important. Okay, group meals, research is complete, very good. Um, effects, coming soon. Recreation, coming Okay, I don't know what that means, but that's fine. Local businesses, I, I don't know what that is, but sure, let's go ahead and get that unlocked. I need to focus on some wood. Um, you are out of local wood storage. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pop up a wood and let's just drop that on in here. There we go. Five wood storage. I, I can do that one more time. Let's just pop another one out. So you've uprooted a tree. Now what? I'm going to throw it right there, Mr. Narrator, man. Okay, got ten. Come on, let's just keep pumping that out. Keep pumping out the wood. Because, um, yeah, my people do not have any water. <laughs> okay. Yay, believers, flying trees. Good enough. I'll take it. Yeah, just everything's waiting for upgrades. And there's not enough refined wood to upgrade any damn thing for the most part. So, yeah, um, I'm hoping now I got two of these down. We should be able to get things done a little bit faster. But I'll have to take a look to see if there's any research here that uh, may actually allow me to 
upgrade these to get these out a little bit faster. Alright, so someone just picked up three. Where are they taking them? I'm hoping that they're taking them right over to this one. Yeah, I think it was at four, so it did go up one, but um, hopefully we get three more coming over. Because that's definitely top priority. I need to get that done ASAP. I mean, is it really even worth it for me to put down a third wood refinery? I mean, I could destroy it later. But at this point, I need more refined wood than anything else. So yeah, let's go ahead and just pay to put down another one of those. Because as long as I can keep getting refined wood coming in, I don't see any reason not to. And the, uh, the iron mine is still coming along. Very good to see. And where's my hunter's hut? Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of animals hanging out on this side of the map. Hey, water pump complete. Finally, now I'm making an excess of a whole two wood. A uh, two water. Okay, so yeah, I think getting down those extra wood refineries is worth it. Safety. Wild animal attack chance goes down by 50%. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can influence them on this guy. Because those animals have been kind of a bit of a problem as of late. So yeah, you have my support. Let's see what happens. I don't like that sound. Are, are buildings falling down and they're just not telling me about it? Or Okay, water pump, 4 out of 15. So that was not the water pump that they did. Oh, there was the upgrades. They're getting the upgrades done first. Well, I mean, if upgrades doubles their output, then it's the same to me. If they, uh... okay, 140. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get caught up here. That is great. Okay, we're down to last three stone waiting to be delivered. Very nice. Oh, I finished that already. All right, well, fair enough. Is there anything I can do here that will actually... Lumber mill. All right, well, lumber mill would be fine. But really what I want is an increase in the speed Hmm. So yeah, it looks like there's nothing I can do that's going to improve speed of constructing or refining materials. At least not anything I see just yet. So I guess in that case, I just have to really concentrate on making sure I get enough of the refined goods out. And I don't have a lot that, I don't have all that much refined stone either, to be honest. Another injury at work, fair enough. The 
Let's just make sure nothing's waiting for an upgrade or anything of that sort. Right to wear arms, hey! Let's go ahead and celebrate. Whoa! Well, that's kind of cool. But yeah, initially that does not sound like a, a cry of, um... You've got no food. Well, you should have food. I've got 44, 47 raw food hanging around here. Um, but yeah, that, that did not sound like a joyous celebration. That sounded more like, oh, everyone's being murdered at the moment. <laughs> All right, we got a new reservoir coming online. Hopefully, this one's in a place that's not going to be evaporating all the time. Twenty-four thousand stored, two hundred. Uh, so I'm making twice as much water as I need. And let's go ahead and assign some nuggets to this new wood refinery. I don't know what that bell means. I keep hearing that bell. I imagine that's the f dinner bell because I guess there's a there's a food hut over there. But still, I mean, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what that's about. But whatever, we'll figure that out later. Reservoir has been completed. Very good. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is just keep keeps evaporating. I'm just going to turn that one off. Yeah, this one's evaporating too. What the heck? And this one's nearly full. Alright, what if I... Reforce this entire area. Is that going to cut down on the evaporation? Doesn't look like it's doing a lot of good, to be honest. So even if I surround it by trees, it's still going to evaporate. So the only thing I can really do is to make sure that I produce w the water fast enough that I can overcome the evaporation speed. Yeah, because even putting all of these down... Oh, no! That actually did have a little bit of effect. 38. Thirty-six. Oh, yeah, so that, that actually does work. It's just not instantaneous, which, frankly, seems rather fair. Yeah, is it down to 34? 33. Is it still going down? 32, yes, okay. And, you know, frankly, that's just more trees that they can harvest. Oh, but this one's down to 31 as well. Oh. So maybe I literally was having no effect on it. 32. Is this one's Yeah, all right, so yeah, just temperatures going down because we're getting close to winter. That's that's the only thing that happened. Absolutely nothing to do with with my tree growing. So I just wasted a hell of a lot of energy for nothing. <laughs> all right, so all of these have been upgraded to 60 each. So I'm really bringing in a heck of a lot of water now. Construction of the well has been completed. Very good, very good. Water pump is waiting. Demands paid. 
All right, well, good on my people. They, they seem to have a heart. Much better than their leader, of course. All right, and yeah, it looks like the refined wood is being produced a little bit faster, but it's still being pretty much instantly taken out and uh, sent around the populace for all of the various jobs and things that we've got going on. And the medium trap has still failed to attract anything. Maybe I need to send it out even further, because, uh, yeah, I've not had any good luck with the traps. Okay, good. I started to panic. I, I thought that this was not connected to this. But it looks like... Yeah, it's starting to go down a little bit, but hopefully it's going to be a long time before this area gets completely cut off. Because uh, if this doesn't start to get refilled from the main from the main waterway, eighteen million left. Eighteen million. Yes. Okay. The game does consider this part of the same water source. Which is good. Alright, we've got another water mill. Fall has begun, yes. Amount of water stored in the reservoirs is actually pretty decent. And it's not evaporating anymore. So, plus 76 water, wow. And I still got two more water pumps down ready for construction. So, I should have like an insane amount of uh, water very shortly. Oh, yeah, local business. Yeah, I researched that and I completely forgot about it and never built one. And mining is complete. All right, so what did that unlock? We'll have to figure that out as well. All right, I'll go ahead and put a local business right down here by the by the dock, uh, fishing piers. That works. And yes, mining unlocked. Gas mine. Break through the surface. Okay, so can I just put this down anywhere? Or does it have to be close to like a... Well, it looks like gas mine can go pretty much anywhere. So let's go ahead and put that right over here. Oh. Well, you know, I, I as God, I can definitely go imminent domain, but I'll let them keep their hut. You can get oil jack, but... Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and go for logging camps. I think uh, keeping logs and stones in line would be best in terms of the long-term investments. And since I am going to be running out of reservoir capability reasonably shortly, I'm just going to go ahead and plop down another one. Yeah, because I'm sure my reservoirs are, oh, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, a couple of them seem to be at 100%. But, yeah. Well, you know, after I get these last couple done as well, I think it's probably going to be output zero. Oh, because this one's frozen already. But for some reason, that one's still going. Well, fair enough. Yeah, let's go see if we can hunt that bear. And there goes the hunters. Oh. Did, the bear didn't attack that kid. He just... Okay, well... All right, they killed the bear. That's good, but I, I just really curious what happened to this guy. Um, injured while performing a routine task. Is this the one that? 
Does it tell me the reason for death? Do they like stab themselves with their spear? Crops are withering. Status is still harvesting. Well, having one additional person working here. Uh, fishing pier isn't looking that good. Okay. Oh, and something doesn't have an Oh, I don't have a teacher assigned. Well, that's fine. I'm going ahead and assign you to be the teacher of the students who are already in class, even though there's no teacher there to teach them. But, you know, whatever. That's fine. Oh, and I got a couple of injured ones. Well, let's see what we could do about that. Rejuvenate. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do. I bet they've never felt so good. Or ever will they again. <laughs> Some boo is also hurt. Oh, wow. <laughs> A nasty injury after falling. Well, um. Maybe you just don't go so rough next time. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh, it's a bird. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember launching anyone into space recently. So what is this local business generating? Uh, it's a massage parlor. <laughs> well, they do say it's the oldest profession. <laughs> Literally, my first local business is a massage parlor. That's... That's fantastic. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and see what my second local business is going to be. That should be interesting. They'll turn around and build a brothel. <laughs> All right, so yeah, my civilization's starting to do pretty well. I've pretty much taken over the whole little peninsula here. Granted, it is winter and water's going down quite quickly, but hopefully we have enough water to make it to spring. We will see about that. And yeah, I got a lot of people building some lizard candy store. Well, that's a little bit better than a massage parlor. Yeah, all right, gas mine, stone, okay. And I have zero refined stone. So yeah, I think I probably should go ahead and get down another one of those stone refineries. Keeping it close to this area seems best because I think most of the stone south of here has already been harvested. Did I build a new engineer? I don't think I built a new engineer. Was that just an upgrade that was pending, possibly? Oh. Uh, that's... Wow. Hopefully they didn't get injured doing the same thing that the last one got injured for. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get another nugget assigned to the Engineer Corps just to help keep the buildings in shape. 
I've expanded decently, and I don't think they're able to keep up as well as they probably should be. And looking around, um, hey, okay, almost got a farm upgrade ready. 34 with 21 produced mules, okay. Not awful, but uh, definitely not a huge margin of error here. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's just, the, they started the, the upgrade. The farm did not fall apart. <laughs> so they're just in the process of upgrading that. Very good, I appreciate it. Uh, that's my save thing, very nice. Go ahead and get another trap for the hunters. We'll put it out here outside of town. I think there's a much higher chance of an animal actually running into it out here. In fact, there's actually a mammoth right next to it, but I don't think they'll actually fit into a uh, medium trap. Yeah, you're all complaining about not having water, aren't you? I mean, there's still two, uh, one in the well. If you just get over there and actually try to get one out of the well, you might actually be able to find a drink. Sounds like a wonderful idea. Why don't you do that? You're dying of thirst, but you can't be troubled to go to the well. All right, get the next farmer assigned. Hopefully that can help our food recover a little bit faster. 99.6, yeah, we've got plenty of water left in the ocean. That's great. Now, I don't see any emergency flags with any of the buildings here. So things seem to be properly, properly laid out. All right, fantastic. We do have that hospital upgrade coming in. So, yeah, getting all that, these additional... Uh, Refineries has definitely been making a nice impact. Because for a long time there, a lot of those upgrades were pending, and I just was not making enough refined goods to be able to do that successfully. Wood refineries on its last legs. Well, come on, engineers, get to work. Oh, you're literally right, like, right next to an engineer's hut. I mean, seriously, guys, just walk across the road and fix this thing, won't you? Oh, oh, press the wrong button. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we don't need to go to space right now. Yeah, yeah, you're all going to repairs. That's fantastic, but why don't you repair these ones? They're literally falling apart, and they're you're right next door to each other. Okay, what, how bad of a condition is this one? Okay, great. Both of my refineries are in crap condition, and I need those to be able to produce everything else I got on this land. Okay, so pretty much everyone, I may need to build a second hospital. Three slots does not seem to be enough, but 102 wood, wow, I've, I've got a nice little repertoire of wood here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get a quarry out. Restaurant. Is a restaurant different than an eatery? Hmm. I think that's just a up the upgraded eatery is the restaurant. Okay, that's what I'm gonna assume at least. Wow, and these this hospital is so damn big I, I can't even fit it on the map anymore in the areas I've got left. Well that's a shame. I, I guess I'm gonna have to just jam it into the middle or, or something along those lines. Or maybe I could just bulldoze a few houses. Yeah, it looks like it would fit right here. I just have to tear down a few huts. Yep, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Huts are small. They can rebuild those elsewhere. There's not a lot of places I can do to put down a hospital, so... 
that's definitely the bigger of the priorities. And still no one has fixed these damn refineries yet. Okay, you're down to 339, so you still have a little bit of time before you're going to fall apart. You're sitting at 340. Alright. We'll see how long it takes these damn engineers to, like, just go across the road and rebuild that damn thing. Now that winter is over, we hey! Form a head count to see how many nuggets survived. We survived winter reasonably well, and I'm making a hell of a lot of... Wow. That's way more water than I need. I kind of went a little water well happy, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, because like, if each one of these is producing 60, and I threw a lot of them down. Um, so hopefully the reservoirs don't flood my entire population here. And why are you all going out this way? Like, what, 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 are, you, what are you needing out in this direction that requires you to go this far out? Stone. Wow. Okay, so... Oops. I, I do like that effect. You get that little glass shatter. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, if we've got to go that far to get stone... Getting lumber mills and the quarry... Yeah, stone mine isn't unlocked yet, unfortunately. Okay. Well, we'll come and do... But why? Wait. They're going all the way out there for stone, but there's a nice little pile of... Okay, this guy is smart. The rest of them are dumbasses. Um, let's go for a huge, long walk just to go on ahead and get the stone that we literally could get by coming right here. Eh, yeah, whatever. You do you, people. Okay, so yeah, as soon as that um, lumber mill is done, we're going to go ahead and put down a quarry over here as well. Just so that people don't have to walk all the way out here to collect it. Now, what the hell are you guys doing over here? Yeah, you're, you're literally just out here collecting stone. How many stones have you passed? to get this far out to go and collect stone. And what the hell is this guy doing? I mean, there's... If he stops to get more stone, I'm gonna be ticked at him. Uh, going to gather food. All right, well, what food is it that you wanting to gather? as you walk through a bear. Alright, I'm intrigued. Show me where you're going, little man. I, I want to know. Alright, we're gonna just go for a little ride. All right, so you came all the way out here for the crystalline crab apple. Well, I hope that's a pretty good stuff, cause uh, it's gonna take you a long time to get home from here. Yeah, that's like quarter of the globe away for crying out loud. All right, we're upgrading to a restaurant from the eatery. Big Red, if you ever watch this, you should be happy. Your restaurant empire is really taking off. <laughs> and yeah, we got evaporation again, but we're seeing that 100% across the board in terms of production, so... Hopefully, we will be able to actually manage that. And yes, I think maybe upgrading our fishing would be a good idea. Or no, let's go ahead and get warehouse done. I think uh, getting a little bit of additional warehouses would be fine. And you people are all starving. 
So yeah, maybe upgrading those fisheries would have been the right idea. Um, reservoir is not looking good. Okay. And we got another injured nugget. Let's make sure she didn't get hurt in the uh, carnal activities like the last one. Oh, I forgot to assign people to the stone refinery. Let's go ahead and get that going. Nuggets are injured. Well, I did just build a new hospital. Is that new hospital done yet? No, not yet. And they still haven't gone around to parrying this 293. 290. Where the hell are my engineers? Preparing for a rubber duck. Heading home. What? Why are you heading home? I got buildings literally falling down. And no food in the eatery. Fantastic. How's my... F choose crop? What, what do you mean choose crop? You should have been... Oh boy, my farmers screwed me. Um, you really should have been growing food. Why weren't you growing food? That's your only job. And I got another reservoir ready to collapse. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to have to throw down another engineer's hut. They just cannot keep up. Well, I've got pretty much everything within range of an en engineer's hut. But if I'm going to be expanding anywhere, it's going to be to the north. So we're just going to go ahead and put this one down. We'll prioritize it just so we can maybe get it up a little bit faster. Uh, gas mine is coming along. It just needs a little bit more stone delivered. That's good. But yeah, I prioritized water too much and I've kind of ignored food. So maybe I'll just go on ahead and throw down another farm as well so that they can also not plant food and screw me over um apparently that's the thing now let's have farms but not plant anything in them because uh you know no one's starving to death at the moment or anything okay. just there's no room left to put things down it seems uh, close, but no, that's not going to work. Yeah, I'm going to have to send you up north, unfortunately. Hopefully animals don't attack and kill you all, because you're going to be above where my watchtowers end. I'll put you right down here in the grasslands. Destroy a residential house? Oh, that little thing right there? Yeah, whatever. They can move. <laughs> and lumber mill. Oh, yeah. I forgot I was building a lumber mill up here. Well, that's coming along very slowly, isn't it? Uh, is that an upgrade? Okay, yeah. That's a restaurant upgrade. That's That's fine. Um, speaking of restaurant upgrades, that means I should probably be able to assign another cook. Yes, I can. So, that's the second cook. Hopefully they can keep up and help us out a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the fishery. In hopes that we can get a little bit more... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. City 49 just started their first construction. Well, in the proper 
greetings of this land. Oh, you're aggressive. Well, we can't have aggressive neighbors now, can we? Go for a fly. There you go. Welcome to the planet. <laughs> That's how we say hi around here. Very good. I think things are working out okay. I don't see any emergency flags around here anywhere. Alright, who's running for election? Safety guidelines, contraception ban, increased reproduction. Well, frankly, I think we got enough of that. Free water filters in every nugget house, plus 25 water refill rates. Water buildings decay twice faster. Well, I don't like the decay twice faster, but... Actually, wait. I fixed the water problems. I don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, no, 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 no. So, Nuggets will be less prone to injury. Yeah, let's go ahead and support that one instead. I'm so used to not having any water, I kind of took that one by instinct. But for once, I actually do seem to have a l Hey, okay, that one won. Perfect. Kind of sounds like there's an earthquake or something, and I'm wondering if it's that hut or not. Alright, warehouse is finally ready. Perfect. Let's find a nice, good location for that. Ideally, somewhere in the center of things. At this point, I'm definitely willing to tear down a few huts for my more important infrastructure buildings so yeah right there seems decent there we go huts are small they can pop them down anywhere in between the other buildings oh and you're complaining about not having water huh where was that new engineer hut I put down I really ought to get people assigned to that hut. Uh, yeah, the upgrade for that eatery. Yes, we can get you assigned. Our right, engineers is under construction at the moment, so for, perfect. As soon as that's done, I'm going to hire two people here because, yeah, my buildings are literally about... Yeah, down to 200. Did they ever get around? Okay, it looks like they finally got around to fixing the wood refinery, though. Um, but yeah, they're just not really keeping up with the... What are you complaining about? There's no more food anywhere. I mean, there is! You're just not going in the right direction. I mean, I'd recommend the eatery if you're hungry. <laughs> Alright, so, endurance... Footwear, okay... Power naps. Stockpiling. Reinforce shelter material requirements. Okay, that could be worth it. But let's see. I probably just skipped to the few early ones here. Food capacity up. Hunger reduced by 10. Yeah, I think that's probably the one to go for. People seem to be eating a little bit faster than I can keep up with. So 10% reduction on hunger. And that's a really early level tech. So I should be able to get that one reasonably quickly. Okay, 86%, 88%. Very good. Let's go ahead and get that going just so we can get my buildings a little bit more safe. There we go. So we've got two new engineers. Hopefully they can go out there and do their things and protect my buildings from falling apart. Uh, yep, that forecast tower is about to fall down too. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And hey, 
My graveyard isn't all that full. And people were actually dying of old age. Hey, that's good. It's I, I don't really usually see people dying of old age. What, what, what's this? What's this? Burning progress. So do I bury people or cremate them? Or do I bury them first and then cremate them later? I don't... Cause of death, hunger. Okay. Hunger. Okay. Windstorm. Oh, I didn't even notice a windstorm. Old age. Old age. Well, I'll tell you, two people died of old age. That's two people more than I expected. <laughs> yeah. Passing away blissfully in your sleep at the end of your life is uh, a luxury most of my people don't actually get to, to enjoy, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, my fishing is upgraded, so let's go ahead and... <coughs> uh, sorry. <coughs> oh, terribly sorry. So let's go ahead and get people assigned to those fishing huts, just so we can maybe improve their output a little bit. 34 out of 19, okay. So maybe getting another hunter's hut down as well would be nice. That way they can go after a bigger game anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one a little bit further up because uh, where my other hunter's hut is, is kind of been superseded a little bit. To basically go hunting, they have to go pretty far outside of my city to find any animals who are left. So getting that one on the northern bank seems like a decent idea. And to that same end, I suppose I probably should send out a watchtower in this area as well. Just to keep an eye out for danger, because at this point my civilization is definitely growing out in this way, it seems. Well, refined wood is doing great, but the refined stone is not really keeping up. I did build the second one. Yeah, stone refinery is working at full steam. Oh, no, I never assigned anyone to the damn gas mine. Which, frankly, for a primitive society like this, I don't know why they're harvesting natural gas and at the same time living in a hut. But, you know, whatever. So, yes, we got the warehouse down. Very good. And the hospital is still under construction. That's a little surprising. And this one's not... This one's not spinning. Why are you not spinning? Is that my reservoirs are at too high of a capacity, possibly? I, I'm not sure. Cooking time reduced by two seconds. I'll go with that. It should also be a reasonably quick one. It's um, one I've been neglecting for quite a while, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, if we can get our food cooked a little bit faster, hopefully less people die of hunger. Old age, old age, thirst, hunger, hunger, old age. All right, well, that thirst one surprises me a little bit because I'm, I'm swimming in water at the moment. And so there's really no reason why anyone's dying of thirst at the current age. Now, what are you not happy about? Oh, you're, you have a broken bone, and you're preparing to hunt. Okay, yeah, I guess that would probably not make me too happy either. Let's go ahead and just see if we can heal you up by a chance. Oh, I healed the wrong one. Oh, I healed the wrong one. Oh, come on. You're, you're moving pretty fast for someone with a broken bone. All right, there you go. I healed you. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. What the heck? 
Am I on the wrong magic spell? Slow down, slow down. Uh, telekinesis. Oh, so I just picked her up and threw her around a little bit. Okay. That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> okay, so... Ah, wrong button. Ah! Why am I on telekinesis? I'm sorry, I don't mean to throw you around. I'm trying to help you. Just let me help you. <laughs> Rejuvenate. Yes, that's the one I want. Don't change me to telekinesis again. Ah, there we go. Are you okay now? Nah, right, she's not showing me the broken bone thing, so I'm assuming she's okay now. Alright, got another witch doctor assigned. Very nice. Let's go ahead and put another trap out there. Cooking utensils. Perfect. So hopefully they can get that done a little bit faster now. And yeah, we'll go out here and plop down a, um, a hunting trap. That sounds like a wonderful idea. And yes, we'll go ahead and get a couple of people assigned to the lumber mill. Just so we can have a good, reliable supply of wood coming in. Farm's coming along. The new hunter's hut is coming along. Nice. I wonder if maybe I should throw down a new stone refinery. Because that seems where I'm not able to keep up at the best. 45.21, so it does look like I'm able to get the food processed a little bit faster. We just have to keep up with that. Eh, I guess one more stone refinery wouldn't be such a bad idea. All of my buildings are upgraded now to the point where I basically need a heck of a lot more stone for everything I... For all of the buildings that previously didn't need them. I know I built it too close to the lumber mill. They definitely need some room to build their trees. So we'll just go ahead and plop that one down right here. Let's see. Yeah, everything seems to, be, seems to be running at capacity. No one looks to be looking for an upgrade either at the moment. And no one's showing me the message that they don't have anyone assigned to be actually working them. Winter is here. Yeah, I figured the snow kind of gave that away. But thank you, game, uh, just for making it obvious. Waiting for spring. Alright, so they are ahead of the game. They were able to get that stuff planted and down before... Uh... Before it all died like it did last year. Yeah, it looks like everyone's got people working at the correct buildings, which is great. And now we're just waiting for these ones to get under construction, so we can go ahead and get that going. And I suppose I probably should go ahead and put down another well up here, because if I'm expanding in this direction, they are probably going to want to have a place to get water. Stone mine. No, I put down stone refineries, but I don't think I put down a stone mine yet, have I? Doesn't look like it. Okay. 
Well, requires Stone Mountain, okay. Stone Mountain, a lovely roller coaster. <laughs> there we go. We'll just put you in right there. Right next to the stone refinery. That makes actual sense. And the iron mine is still functioning. Very good. Alright, they could build these a little bit faster. Okay, food preservation. Perfect. So I think most of those early techs are unlocked now. Am I missing anything? Leather buckets. Uh, plus one well water capacity. Eh, that seems fair. Let's go ahead and get that as well. I like to have all of those done bef uh, before uh, I move on into the really advanced stuff. Iron mine, lumberjack, gas mine. Okay, very good. Yeah. So I have a feeling people are going to be probably starting to live up in this area. Um, because I'm building so much of the infrastructure up here. So let's see if I can find a place to sneak a well in. I could sneak one here. And maybe I'll just move one up around here as well, between all of these buildings. Yeah, let's put one right there. Yeah. So, hopefully the additional wells help. And yes, we got some buildings done. You need some people assigned to you. Very good. Let's go ahead and do that. And that gives me six hunters now. So let's go ahead and move up to a big animal. And yes, let's go ahead and plop down another trap. Right over there looks like pretty good. So hopefully between those two hunters they can team up and work on some... There we go. Got you healed up, and I didn't even have to pick you up and throw you across the camp before I do that. So, I'm improving. This god is learning what his powers are and using them appropriately. Be warned. <laughs> okay, and yeah, this one's not done yet up here either, so they don't need anyone assigned to them. Oh. We got someone, there we go, got another one healed up. At this point, why am I building hospitals? It looks like no one's actually going to them. Oh, that's a teacher. Uh, here's a hospital. Okay, so no, it just it's, it's full. Okay, well, that's fair. At least I'm not having to heal them because they're otherwise less inclined. All right. That's just uh, telling me that the water is frozen and it can't fish, which is fine. I was already aware of that. Stone refinery. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get some people assigned to this. There we go. So hopefully that's going to help my stone refinery projects get caught up a little bit. Watchtowers ready. Perfect. Go ahead and get you assigned to that. Why don't you go hunting this mammoth? I, mean, I told you to start hunting larger animals, and it's pretty darn close. Why not go over there and take care of it? I'm as thin as a stick, okay? And you are dying of thirst. Lovely, lovely. Uh... Glad to see that those wells are being produced at a high and efficient speeds. Refined stone is what you're waiting on. Well, that's good. At least I have a brand new stone refinery over here. 
And you're also waiting for refined stone. And you are also waiting for refined stone. So yes, let's go ahead and get some stone out. Wouldn't that be a wonderful idea? Um, in fact, let me see if I can help you out. Oh, I'm trying to heal the rock. No, I don't want to heal the rock. I want to pick up the rock. Let's go ahead and activate our pick up, picking up god powers. Why? My, my power is going down. Jolt of joy. Okay, so I was just making the rocks happy. Lovely. There we go. Let's go ahead and prop that down. Oh. Did it do what I wanted it to do, or did I just, like, injure the building by throwing it at that? I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Leather bucket research is coming along nicely. Very good. Very good. <sighs> so let's go ahead and put down another local business. I'm not entirely sure what they're supposed to do in regards to functionality. Um, maybe it provides like a happiness boost or something. I don't know. It's not like they're, I worry about tax income or anything. Uh, I'll put you down right there. That seems like a good place for it. Alright, we've got another people demanding resources. What do they want? Well, they're aggressive and they don't like us, so... Alright, they're leaning towards accepting. Even though we don't really have a lot of food ourselves. But, hey, I'm going to leave that choice up to them. If they want to help the people who hate us with food, then sure, knock yourselves out. Just don't complain to me when there's no more food. That's your call. Okay, we got a new farm under construction. Very good. Let's see if we can get this online quick enough to get a crop down for this year. And my refineries are working off decently uh, in a good pace. So hopefully these last couple of construction projects are waiting for stone we'll get the needed delivery reasonably quickly. 90%, very nice, come on, let's get that farm done. I don't have a ton of food laying around, so... There we are, perfect. Let's get two down right now, and let's choose... Hmm. Grasslands. And this is a grassland, okay, perfect. So... Maybe I'll see if I can find a new crop. That sounds like a lovely idea. Why have two farms doing the same crop? Healthy Melina. Wait. Where did that go? I, I picked it up, didn't I? I mean, I, I... are beginning to look green and happy again. Let's take a moment to appreciate it before you do something wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, I made the same mistake before. I actually have to wait to pick up the food until there is something ripe. Otherwise, I just pull up the plant with no seeds. Which is a slightly, slightly annoying, but Healthy Molina is here, so I could pick up another one as soon as that matures. And this does look to be a grassland crop. So yes, I have to keep an eye on this and hopefully I can find one that actually has a...
completed the uh, a fully grown fruit on it. Come on. I want to see that food. <laughs> so I can approve the graveyard, but uh, that seems fine. Grass weaving, plus two carrying capacity. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, probably would have been a lot more helpful a long time ago, but whatever. Uh, bloody diarrhea fruit is not in yet either. Nan nan neither is the manbro fruit. Or the panda brain plum. Sounds appetizing. Or the healthy Melina. <sighs> Come on! I don't want to sit here all day watching crops mature. We've got better things to do. We've got another injured one, but they don't seem to be that poor off at the moment. Stone hut fell apart. Okay, buildings are collapsing. Okay, so there's just two random stone huts that fell apart. Kind of wish I knew which ones it was, otherwise I may be able to figure out if it was uh, out of range or not of my engineers. What's this ET thing going on up here? Uh, okay, so... What was that? Do I create buildings to fill a void inside? What What are they all afraid of? Oh, there's a ghost. Ah, uh, that's why. There's a ghost. I was wondering why people were freaking out. But what do we? What do you do about the ghosts? Do Do I have like a magic spell for the ghosts? Uh, let's see. I can make it a happy ghost. Okay, electrify. I could make the ghost fall in love. I don't think rejuvenate's gonna work in this case. Maybe I could pick up the ghost? Uh, let's try that. Let's see if we can pick up the ghost. No, unfortunately it's not gonna let me pick up the ghost. So, Tynofus, is that kind of your job? Oh, no, no, okay, it looks like it got over whatever it was angry about and disappeared. Okay, very good. No more ghosts. Apparently my people don't like them. And why the heck are you guys building stone huts way out here? Yeah, that, that does not strike me as a smart idea. You're, you're too far away from pretty much everything, and um, yeah, my engineers aren't going to come over here and fix those for you. So that may explain why stone huts are starting to fall apart on me, because they're building them in asinine locations with literally no value to it. Well, hey, that explains a lot. Panda brain fruit, okay. Let's go ahead and pick up some panda brain fruit. And we'll just take that over to our farm and plop that right down for a new cultivated crop. Desert biome. Sadly, I can't build that one, okay. What's this one over here? Bloody diarrhea fruit. We've already got tons of bloody diarrhea fruits. 
Panda brain, yes. Remember those other plants I was looking at around here? Ah, ma mangro fruit. Yes, let's go ahead and plant some mangro fruit if we are able. Oh, hey, Sharks Gamer. Uh, sorry, can't see that. Uh, let me just put this mangro fruit down. Okay. No, that's... No, it is grasslands. Okay, let's go plant some mangro fruit. What game is this? Uh, this is Universe Sim. It's a early access uh, god level game, more or less. Um, it's been in early access for probably about a year, but uh, it's coming along pretty well. And frankly, it it's kind of fun. It scratches that god itch. <laughs> But yeah, this is my little society, and uh, you basically take them up to the kind of modern times, and there's apparently different cities on this world that um, probably have their own gods. And uh, in the end, I think you either have to like go to war with them or make peace with them or whatever, but yeah, it's pretty intriguing. All right, so did I employ people in all of these new buildings that I built? Hey, the well is finally done. That's great. So the refined stone must be coming in at a little bit of a faster clip. And why are all you people upset? Okay, you, you need water, but you literally just walk past a well with water in it. All right, well, come on, if you're... If, you're dying of thirst. Go get some water from the well, for crying out loud. Nasty injury for Chumbel. Well, let's see. What was Chumbel doing when he fell? And why the hell is Chumbel all the way out there? Oh, wait. He's a hunter. Okay, he actually has a reason to be out here. Hey, good job, guys. You took down that thing. All right, let's go ahead and get that food over to the city. Okay, and yes, I did forget to assign workers to this building. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I knew there's probably one around here somewhere that I had failed to assign. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, my stone production is way up. And, uh, let's see, we're sitting at 20 gas, which I don't even think I'm able to use for anything for the time being. 35 herbs, 148 food, so yeah, it looks like that research I did on my food is worth it. No oil, no glass, no plastics, no chemicals, and no cement. Which is perfectly fine, because I'm not even trying to re- uh, get those yet. I think those are beyond my technical uh, techn abilities. Okay. Unlocks extra slots, additional worker, upgrade cemetery. Is there like any anti-ghost? Twin possibility increases by 50%. Divine punishment. <laughs> enjoyed that too much divine punishment higher chance of twins uh, that's classic <laughs> All right, water well capacity up one that seems worth it nugget might nugget speed yeah let's go for some nugget speed all right looking around i think things are Doing reasonably well. Is this the hospital? Yes, okay, good. So, the guy with the broken bones are all in the hospital. That seems like a logical place to put them. 
and you're producing gas, which is very odd. I mean, this thing looks a hell of a lot more modern than the huts that everyone's living in. Okay, we got a windstorm going on somewhere. But I don't think it's here. I don't hear any alarm bells. Alright, we've got the warehouse. Very good. Ah, and this restaurant's sitting on 20 prepared dishes. Oh. Did I get a message on something? Oh, Big Red is actually over on Discord. Okay, hey, Big Red. Um, I will have to take a look to figure out how to turn off the sound on Discord later. Well, whatever. <laughs> Three candidates. Okay, let's see. Who's up for election? Safety guidelines, uh, medical aid, that gets pay attention more towards the medicine. Decreases medicine preparation time by 90%. Hmm, that's interesting. Accelerated studies, nuggets spend less time in school, but injury rate increases. Well, let's go on. Yeah, medical aid will fix them faster when they get hurt, and this will prevent them from getting hurt. So, frankly, it just seems like a better idea to go ahead and get that one going. Uh, dash of lightning, so people can move around a little bit better. Very good. Let's go ahead and get the warehouse upgrade done as well. I don't think we're really having a capacity issue at the warehouse, but still no harm in getting that taken care of early on. Hair salon. Uh, okay. No problem about getting hair salons, I suppose. Cosmetics. Okay, expansion. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have anything new unlocked at the moment that would be worth investing in, so... Let's go ahead and just plop down another local business, if we can find a good spot. Yep, that works. Go ahead and put another one of those down. And that well is sitting on a decent one amount of uh, resources. There's usually some mammoths hanging around up here. Are they still hanging around or have they backed off? Ah, oh, that medium trap is still just sitting there as well. No one seems to be taking the bait. Juicy acorn. Well, sure, let's pick up a juicy acorn. Never know when a new crop may come in handy. And it looks like there's another one right here. Crystalline crab apple. I don't think I have that one yet either. Oops. It wasn't actually... There wasn't any fruit there to pick up yet. Well, all right, I'll have to reach out to him later. Um, <laughs> hey, Chris and Clara Apple, and this one actually does have some plants available, so let's go on ahead and plop you in as well. Hey, safety guidelines, that's the one I wanted. Very good. Let's go on ahead and celebrate. With that very uncelebratory sounding scream. Yeah, 
Yay! Look at all of this fireworks. Good job, people. You did what I wanted you to do. So I wasted a heck of a lot of power to do that for you. I have 27 who believe in me. That seems kind of small. Yeah, let's get some stronger nuggets out there. Oh dear, there's some dead bodies. Actually, a lot of dead bodies. What's going on with all the dead bodies? Um, is there some sort of like animal attack around here? I mean, there is a wolf right here. Um, is that wolf responsible for all the dead people? I I, I don't know. But it would be nice if our grave digger could get over here and pick these people up. I really don't want to waste my telekinesis for that. Yeah, my telekinesis is meant to be saved in case any injured neat people need to be picked up and thrown around a little bit. 220,184 food. Yeah, all right. I like how things are looking right now. I've definitely got myself set up here pretty decently in terms of the raw resources. So that's a lot better than it was when I started this one. Although I am using 206 water. I wonder if I'm able to keep that up. Because I have 212,000 in res reservoirs. But at 206, I don't know what this is, per month or per day? Because um, I could be running out before too long with that kind of a level of input. Devil's Lettuce, we've already got that in our little land here. So I don't need to worry about that. But hey, here's a mammoth. Good, I was looking for a mammoth. Oh, uh, wait. Is this a dead mammoth? Yeah, okay, sorry. That mammoth is already dead, so, uh... Darn. <laughs> Can I find a living mammoth by chance? I don't see one around here, so... That's unfortunate. So that got me plus two strength. And this is a plus four strength, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that as well. We'll just get our little nuggets all beefed up. Oh, that's a decent area here that I could put down something more productive. But there's really not anything I need... Yeah, I suppose there's no need to rush it just yet. Unless I could put down a warehouse. This could be a decent place for a warehouse. And it would fit. Yeah, let's go ahead and put down the warehouse here. They can go pick up different places for their temple, uh, for their... Uh, shacks, huts, that's the word, huts. But yeah, with my production facilities up here, I think that would be a great place to put down a warehouse. Okay, got no electricity problems at the moment. Yeah, I'm already down to 167,000. 
Yeah, and that was at 200 and something not too long ago. So I may need to go ahead and... In fact, maybe I'll try to put that down now so that it's ready and producing water by the time the seasons change. Yeah. I'm sure I don't need two of them, but uh, regardless... We'll just go ahead and get that doing. <clears throat> and let's see, is there another place I could put down another local business? Because I'm kind of out of unique things to build at the moment, so putting down some uh, random businesses here and there is uh, pretty much all I got to do at the moment. <clears throat> Oh, very good. I think I've got a bit of things going on here. I don't really need to worry about keeping an eye out to get people employed just yet. So come on, it should be nearing spring at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shelters. I forgot about shelters. Because uh, earlier I realized that there's only 20 people who fit into a shelter. And I'm sitting at 120 people with literally just one shelter. Where do they hide the shelters again? Alright, well now I got some really nice big strong nuggets. Let's go ahead and activate the pulley system. Sure, that seems like a worthwhile idea. So, don't see any bunkers. Where the hell did they go? Oh, there they are. Okay, I don't know why that was so hard to find. Good lord. Well, uh, lizard candy's complete, so we are already in terms of uh, duplicates on this island. So let's see, can I fit a shelter up here? I can. Alright, let's go ahead and put that one down, so I have a shelter for 40 people. Now I'll make it 60. Eighty. Hundred. Hundred and twenty. And 140. So after all of those are constructed, I'll actually have a shelter for every one of my people. That sounds like a lovely idea, to be honest. And we'll just go ahead and tear down those huts to put down a nice little park. And that'll just keep the place looking nice and beautiful. Uh, 
Okay, so how are people dying? Okay, we got old age, old age, old age, old age, thirst, old age, and old age. Well, hey! That's not too bad, to be honest. Only one person has died because of apparent failure on my part. Oh, here's another one. There's no water left. Yeah, there's plenty of water left. And has anyone come by to pick up these bodies yet? Yes, it looks like they have. Stone Hut is in shambles. Well, of course it is. You built it way out here where there's actually literally no one to help you. I don't know why the heck you're expanding the civilization out this way. Oh, hey, there's a live mammoth. Let's go see if we can get this one labeled for a hunt. Dead. There's no water left. Not out here, there ain't. I mean, should I just embrace him and, and build something out here? I can't wait to grow up. It's going to be awesome, right? Dead. <laughs> oh, that's a little sad. But why did he die? It doesn't tell me. There's so much color in the world. Dead. One in five people are unemployed. That currently is me. Because you're living out the middle of freaking nowhere. Eyes heavy, palms sweaty, taking 20. <laughs> oh, I heard something. Uh, they are hunting the mammoth, but he came out here by himself. And the mammoth is not enjoying it. Oh dear. I don't think you're supposed to come out here and hunt mammoths by yourself, for crying out loud. Alright, so it's 12.30, and I wasn't planning on doing a long stream today. I usually don't stream on Saturdays period but uh, I was a little hyped up a little bit uh, today um, I'm going on a big trip tomorrow and I was like yeah I can't really sleep so I figure I'd come over here and play a game for the amusement of others <laughs> alright so at the end of the year we still had plenty of water so now we're producing 540, so I should be able to get up there pretty quick. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the, the graveyard. I think that's the lowest level technology I have left to do before I start getting into the modern era stuff. And judging from all the dead bodies on the other side of the pond, um, it seems like a decent idea for me to go ahead and expand my graveyard now because it looks like we're gonna have a lot of dead people coming in sure yeah let's go ahead and upgrade that warehouse absolutely uh, my new bunkers that are getting plopped down everywhere yeah these people have the right idea see I, I built some industries I built a well Look, I'm encouraging you to live in this place. So yeah, the people are starting to build houses. Amazing how that works, you know? You live where the things are, rather than where you would like them to be. <laughs> okay, so the engineers... Looks like they can barely make it out to this area, but not that well. So... Let's go ahead and start expanding down towards all of these jerks who are just putting up random houses outside of the colony. So yeah, if I put you there, no, you're not going to be able to reach it. And is there a way to put you... I mean, I don't want to make you that far away. Okay, that looks like it's going to be about the closest I can put it. So, 
Uh, yeah, these are huts. Okay. Well, look, there's plenty of room out here. You, you could definitely rebuild that hut. So let's go ahead and just put that down. Hopefully, this area is close enough that once in a while they'll be bothered to run over there and maybe repair it. After all, there's not a lot of buildings around here in their territory that they will really need to focus on. So yeah, hopefully they'll make an exception and kind of go outside of their territory once in a while. Okay, nothing really going on over here that I need to worry about. What's this over here? Okay, just randomly, oddly colored bushes. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, my civilization's been growing pretty well. I'm almost on to the other side of the peninsula here, but if I continue to grow in that direction, how far is it going to be? Okay, there's a small pond here. But with high capacity pumps that I've got now, I'm probably going to go through that reasonably quickly. Medicine preparation time is faster. That sounds like a great idea. I assume that means healing time is faster, even though they don't explicitly say that. But if not, I'll be a little bit annoyed. Because all my hospitals are perennially full. Medicine storage, okay, one. Zero. So yeah, that must be it. Um, with the quicker medicine production time, I should be able to heal them faster. Which means that they are out of the way so I can heal, uh, get more people into the area. So that seems like... Fair enough. Stone mines are working reasonably well. And we are running low on wood storage. In fact, there's a lack of wood storage everywhere. So maybe it would be worth putting down another lumber mill. Yeah, because I'm starting to push nature out of the way a little bit here um well one idea is yeah forestation doesn't take all that much fifteen yeah it's fifteen a pop so we'll just go ahead and put down some trees with all of the magic I had left. That should tide them over until I can get down a bit more of a infrastructure of yeah, lumber mill. So let's see if we can go ahead and put down another lumber mill. Just a help keep those trees growing because that does seem like it's probably going to be the next big issue but yeah with all of these trees down in the middle of the city any of my random laborers can just kind of go over and chop down a tree yeah it's already up to 39 Stone hut. Is this going to be out in the middle of nowhere again? It's not going to tell me. That's a shame. Well, a lot of people are in pri uh, supporting that new lumber mill idea. So that's good. I'm glad that seemed to be a popular notion. And how are my bunkers coming along? Whoa. Wow, okay, I didn't notice that. Um, 
I thought I saw a flash of lightning out of the corner of my eye, but I assumed that it was just a storm blowing in on the game. But no, no, it's actually storming pretty hard here right now. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, kind of, I, I'm wearing, like, proper, like, recording headphones at the moment rather than my usual earbuds. So I, I just thought that was, like, quiet background sound effects from somewhere else in the, 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 the world that we're currently on. Okay, restaurant is done. Let's go ahead and put some nuggets in there. And new engineers are available, so let's go ahead and get them assigned as well. And that just leaves the new lumber mill. Oh, a good thing I did build that new engineer. It looks like this uh, watchtower could uh, lose a, use a little bit of a TLC. So now that I have some of those assigned. Ideally, they'll get on with that. Let's go check out this. There we go. <laughs> I really like that little animation. <laughs> and even with the evaporating reservoirs, I am... Pumping in enough water here that 225 looks like it is my full capacity limit. And 157 total raw food, 34 produced food. So it does look like maybe I'm not producing enough food at the moment, or at least fast enough to satisfy my population so i wonder if i should go ahead and put down another restaurant well that one's not necessarily at capacity what about this one over here close to it but not at capacity but the people out here have a bit of a far hike to go to get there so yeah maybe i'll go ahead and take a look at helping to support my expansion outside of the downtown core that I have already developed. So let's see if I can pop down a restaurant. Okay, well, I think we can probably tear down a couple of huts to get this in here. It'll make life for everyone else a little bit more pleasant. And there's plenty of room for small huts, so. Go on ahead. Get at it. You can just throw down another one anywhere you want around here. And it looks like my little bunker mission has been mostly successful. So I should have an emergency bunker down for pretty much everyone at this point. Oh, the cemetery is available to be upgraded, so let's go on ahead and get on with that. Wow. I'm assuming that was loud enough to be heard on the mic. <laughs> I'm a little curious. I'm going to have to give this a listen later to see how... Uh, how loud that's coming through. Maybe worth knowing in the future in case I uh, am tempted to record during a storm. I suppose I can always put down one more reservoir. I'm pretty much at max capacity at the, the moment anyway, so... That may help these buildings get more water. I, I don't know how plumbing works in this game, to be honest. But these people should enjoy the new restaurant once it's up and running. Okay, plus five years to the twin possibility. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and allow for some divine punishment. 
And at that point, it looks like I'm going to have pretty much all of the early level tech unlocked. With just celebrations to come out, which apparently has no real effect. In the current version of the game, at least. Yeah, still got tons in terms of fish population in the local area. So, doesn't look like I'm at risk to really overfish just yet. Got the cemetery upgrade underway. And how about over here? Have I assigned people to all of the new buildings? Oh, crap. I didn't realize I put down another restaurant. I, I didn't realize I had already put a restaurant down over here. Oh, well, that's a bit of a shame. Is there just a demolished building? Yeah, I clicked to demolish. So I destroyed all of their huts for literally no reason. That's great. So in that case, if I got the extra space... Why don't I just go on ahead and put down a hospital? Assuming that there's room, of course. Uh, nope. Those damn hospitals are pretty big, unfortunately. What the heck is that building there? I don't even know what I built there. Well, actually, that's a good idea. Why don't I just go on ahead and put down a farm? Farms are a little bit more manageable in terms of size. Look at all of those colors. Isn't fall beautiful? Someone should really make a painting before you leave the planet to ruin. Yeah. He's read the end of the book. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like he can fit a farm in here either, unfortunately. Well, fantastic. So, Bunker. The universe is infinite, creator. Much like the stupidity of mortals. So, let me see. Maybe I can move that bunker out of the center... Yeah, if I can move that bunker out of the center a little bit, that might give me a little bit more space to put something else down. But not really. I mean, that might buy me a little bit of room around here, but probably not enough to be worth the bother. Yeah, this warehouse is already full. Alright, well, in that case... Let's see if we can find a reasonable spot to throw down a warehouse. Yeah, that seems acceptable. So if I don't want a restaurant there, I can at least put down a warehouse. That seems nice. And what about the warehouse I built out here? Have you invested in a few reservoirs, creator? If not, trying to survive winter with your pumps frozen solid will probably convince you to. 
Fortunately, Mr. Narrator Man, I actually have a pretty hefty supply of water. Hey, okay, better chance for twins. So with that in mind, I think we can queue up one last tech. And I'm going to probably save it up here and call it a night. But regardless, uh, for the couple people still watching, I appreciate your time and attention. And I do hope you all have a great one. And um, like I said, I'm taking a trip from tomorrow. I'm going to be down in Ecuador, Peru, Chile, and Argentina for about a week and a half. Um, I may be able to stream down there. I, I really don't know what the quality of internet I'm going to have in the hotels and everything of that sort. Um, so I may be checking in with you later this next week or two, but if not, please do forgive me and I'll catch you around later once I'm back in the U.S. But, um, until then, I do hope you all have a lovely evening. Thanks again and good night.